Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta, and today we'll understand how to run k nearest neighbor in Orange. The k nearest neighbors algorithm is a non-parametric supervised learning classifier which uses proximity to make classifications or predictions about the grouping of an individual data point. KNN algorithm can be used for regression as well as for classification, but mostly it is used for the classification problem. It is also called a lazy learner algorithm because it does not learn from the training set immediately. Instead, it stores the data set and at the time of classification, it performs an action on the data set. Let's understand this concept. We are having category A indicated by green color, category B indicated by orange color. So before running KNN, this uh, categories will be stored in the algorithm. Now, when we give the new data point to it and when we run the algorithm, so it will identify that this blue color, the new data point belongs to the category A. So it will assign it to category A. Now, KNN uses default processing and executes them in the following order. First, remove instances with unknown target values, converts categorical variables into binary with one hot encoding, removes empty columns, imputes missing value with mean values, normalizes the data by centering to mean and scaling to standard deviation of 1. After running KNN algorithm, it is necessary that we evaluate it. It is done using the confusion matrix. So on y-axis, we are having true label, that is actual observation. On x-axis, the predicted label. Now we are having 50 such cases in which the person was having the COVID and according to the model, the person is having the COVID. So the prediction done by the model is correct. So 50 are correctly classified cases. The second possibility, the person is normal. And according to the model, the person is normal. So 114 plus 50, 164 are such cases which are correctly classified by the model. Let's talk about these six cases. The person is normal, but according to the model, the person is having a COVID. So this is misclassification. Or the another scenario, person is having a COVID, but according to the model, the person is normal. So 22 such cases are there. 22 plus 6, 28 are misclassified cases. Desirable is 50 plus 114, that is 164. These are correct classifications and this is desirable. This is not desirable. This is known as a leakage in the model. 22 plus 6 is, is misclassification. Let's, let's proceed further. Cross-validation. Cross-validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say that it is a check technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. So this is the all data divided into training data and testing data. Training data indicated by green color, testing data indicated by blue color. Now this data will be again divided into five folds. It means that if we are having 100 observations, each fold consists of 20 observations. In the first iteration, fold 1 becomes the testing data. Fold 2, 3, 4, 5 becomes the training data. In second iteration, fold 2 becomes the testing data and the remaining are the training data. This continues till, till we get the optimal parameters. Now, how we can do this in orange? Let's see. So first of all, we will activate the file widget. Double click on it. Browse the data set. Activate hard one. Open. In the first column, you can see the name of the variable, the type, role and values. So this is the age of the patient. Gender, categorical, values are female and male. Chest pain type, categorical, ASY, ATA, NAP, TA. Resting blood pressure is numeric. Cholesterol is numeric. Fasting blood sugar is categorical. Resting ECG is categorical. Now let's go at the bottom and the target variable is a heart disease. It is categorical. Make sure that one of the variable is specified as a target variable. Then only the algorithm will, will work. The values are the, the patient is having a heart disease. Yes or no. Now close this. Activate the data sampler, connect file with the data sampler, double click on it. So the sampling can be done 
uh, using fixed proportion of the data. This means that the 70% goes for training, 30% for testing. Fixed sample size can be extracted, that is from the original data set. Fixed number of instances can be extracted with replacement, without replacement. Cross validation, number of subsets are 10. This means that 9 goes for training, 1 for testing. You can also do the bootstrapping. So activate this one, close. Now you go in evaluate and in evaluate. Test and score, done. Connect data sampler with test and score. Now we require a model. So go in the model and activate KNN. Here is it. Connect KNN with test and score. Done. Double click on it. And you can see the evaluations result, evaluation results, area under the curve, classification accuracy, F1, precision, recall, and Matthews correlation coefficient. Cross validation can be activated from here also. So at present, keep random sampling. Now close it. We want to compare KNN with the constant that is a baseline. How our algorithm is per, is performing in, in comparison to the baseline. So connect constant with the test and score. Double click on it and just see the baseline. AUC is 0.5 and KNN is 0 0.730, which is quite good. Now let's take one. One more algorithm that is this is entry connected uh, random forest connected double click on it now you can compare the results which is performing better so random forest is best okay now for understanding purpose we will work on KNN only I'll delete this this constant now bring it here bring data sampler here and activate the predictions activate the predictions which is in evaluate connect data sampler with the predictions and knn with the predictions let's understand this concept double click on it data sampler 70 percent goes for training 30 percent for testing so double click on it connect remaining data with the data okay so this will do the prediction for the remaining 30 percent data set based on the learning which it has done close it next is activate the roc curve connect test and score with the roc analysis double click on it and just see this green line in the ideal scenario it should be nearer to top left corner nearer to one here in ideal scenario the trajectory of the line should be uh, just see the path like this and this okay make sure that the target specified is yes that is a person is having a heart disease or not now close this activate the confusion matrix here is it Connect test and score, double click on it and just see how well the classification has been done. So actual observation and the predicted, the person is not having the heart disease and according to the model also, the person is not having the heart disease. So actual no, predicted no, 590 such cases are there. So it's good. Now let's talk about this one. Actual, the person is having a heart disease and according to the model, the, yes, the person is having a heart disease. So actual yes, predicted yes. So this is also desirable and this is also desirable. Now let's talk about this one. Actually, the person is having a heart disease. But according to the model, the person is not having a heart disease. So actual yes, predicted no. Let's talk about this scenario. Person is not having a heart disease. But according to the model, the person is having a heart disease. So actual no, predicted yes. So 343 plus 350, these are misclassified cases. You can also get the percentages from here, proportion of predicted, proportion of actual, and sum of probabilities. So number of instances, close it. Next, you can activate the performance curve. Double click on it. 
target yes so the performance curve shows the curves for analyzing the proportion of true positive data instances in relation to the classifiers threshold or the number of instances that we classify as positive this is a lift curve you can get accumulative gains press and recall keep lift curve okay let's proceed further now disconnect this line take the data sampler here bring knn here now connect file with the knn and again activate the file widget double click on it browse part one test let's understand this concept the KNN algorithm was trained using this data set, Heart1. Now, Heart1 test consists of 10 new instances. That is, the algorithm has never seen this data set. Completely 10 new observations. And, and we rely on the algorithm to predict it. Press open. Just see the name of the variables, age, gender, chest pain type, and go at the bottom. Uh, just a minute. You will have to have a heart one test open. So you are having the data set that is the heart one test and the variables are displayed here. Now connect file one with the predictions KNN with the algorithm. Double click on the predictions. So these are the predictions done by the KNN algorithm. Okay. No, no, yes, yes. And this is the original original observations, and this is the prediction done. So this was all about how to run KNN algorithm in Orange. For more videos on data mining using Orange, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.